Hello everybody, my name is Olesh Eisner and welcome to the Canadian Money Talk, the channel about Canadian investing and personal finance. Please like and subscribe. I record two videos per week, so make sure you ring the notification bell to get notified each time one comes out. This is a video about uh, winning the lottery and what you should and should not do if you were to win the lottery. So let me say first of all, don't play the lottery at all ever saving and investing isn't sexy but it will ensure you do well financially winning the lottery is infinitesimally small odds if uh, both of us put in a dollar flip the coin and then the winner got the two dollars fine but in BC and Canada lotteries are used to finance various things uh, you think the uh, government is paying for Plus, there's a lottery corporation running the whole thing that also takes some of the money you put in to administer and control everything. So the money that the winners do get is actually uh, just a percentage of all the money that gets put in. Now, winning the lottery could be life-changing, depending on the size of the win. Smaller amounts would let you pay off the mortgage, your parents' mortgage, buy your dad a truck, quit your job, and then you would have a similar lifestyle as you did before, just with more time to spend with family and travel. It's the uh, big amounts that are the dangerous ones. Uh, statistics show 70% of lottery winners end up broke and a third go into uh, declare bankruptcy, according to the National Endowment for Financial Education in the U.S. Runaway spending, toxic investments, and poor accounting can burn through a lucrative windfall in next to no time. People who didn't uh, build up their money over time have a difficult time handling it. Remember, money doesn't make you happy. It makes you more of what you already were, and uh, many winners struggle with suicide, depression, and divorce. People think the uh, win will be the resolution to all their trouble, but often it introduces more problems. So what should you do if you do end up with a huge amount of money? I'll keep to the theme of winning a lottery, but the same principles would apply um, if you were coming into any amount of money from any source. So the first thing uh, to do is to resist telling anybody, at least not right away. Sign your ticket to make sure that it uh, stays yours, uh, put it in a burn-proof box, and think about what you want to do. Stay anonymous as long as you can. Why? Mainly because family, friends, charities, they all come knocking, and you may be unprepared in terms of how to respond. Everybody knows who the lottery winners are because the lottery corporation, in order to advertise the next lottery, is uh, going to splash your name and your picture holding a giant check all over the TV screens. So, of course, uh, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't respond uh, to the family and the friends and the charities and that you shouldn't give, because I think you should. I also think you have to spend, but you need to know what to save. So you have to have a plan. A big lottery win, or any sudden windfall, should be followed up uh, when you are ready with a call to a lawyer, an accountant, and a financial advisor. I would also suggest three simple rules. Spend some, give some, save some. And listen to the advice of these experts. They will prevent you from hurting yourself. Now, don't leave everything to them, since uh, bad, greedy advisors have also shown themselves uh, to cause problems for lottery winners. Trust, but verify, as my father says. And enjoy your new life. So, these have been a few suggestions uh, on the odd case that you would win some money in the lottery. And if you have any requests on what you would like me to cover in future videos, please put that into the comment section. Please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and may you have a profitable day.